Hello guys, welcome to another video. So today in this video, we'll be discussing about beam width. So what is beam width? The name itself suggests the width of a particular beam. So let us assume this as a particular antenna and this antenna will generate a particular radiation towards this direction. So this direction, in towards this direction, the electromagnetic waves that are generated is a beam. So the width of this beam is referred to as a beam width. So it is the width of a beam. So as the width increases, the number of side lobes decreases. If you have seen my previous video, I have discussed about main lobes and side lobes. So if a particular antenna is made to propagate towards this direction, that is the electromagnetic waves, if they propagate towards this direction, then it will have a major lobe in the direction of propagation. And it will also have a number of side lobes towards the directions in which it is not intended to propagate. That is, if it is propagating, if this antenna is propagating in this direction, then it will have certain side lobes towards this direction so this direction of which are of very less intensity. So as the beam width increases, the number of side lobes decreases and vice versa. So wh where does this concept of uh, uh, beam width apply? So the concept of beam width is used in radars for increasing the resolution capability of a particular radar. So I've written it here, beam width, it is the width of a particular beam as the name suggests. So as the beam width increases, the number of minor lobes decreases and vice versa. So it is used, where is it, where is it used? It is used for describing the resolution capability of radars in radar system. So what is resolution capability? Well, so resolution capability is the capability of a radar to distinguish between two different objects. So if there are two different objects, if my if both my hands are two different objects, so a radar must be able to identify these two as two different objects. So that is resolution capability. So two targets will be distinguished as two different targets by a radar only if the angle of separation between them is greater than F and B W by 2 where F and B W is defined as first null beam width of an antenna that is simply the concept of beam width so here as you guys can see if this is the direction of propagation of a particular antenna then it will have a main lobe in this direction and it will have a number of side lobes so this is the first null beam width of this particular antenna okay so if uh, this uh, beam width increases what happens? The major lobe also increases and therefore the number of side lobes decreases. So that is the concept of beam width. I hope you guys understood and if you guys have any doubts, please do comment in the comment section and we'll be discussing more about this topic in the upcoming videos. Thank you.